Hey, welcome to Wait a Minute. My videos, my thoughts, and I am sharing them with you. Yes. I got stuff to say, baby. It's good. Um, I witnessed a miracle today, and I want you guys to hear about it. I got to share it with somebody, and I might as well share it with everybody at the same time. Um, you know, those of you who are not Christians, I don't know if you'll get this, but I, I'm going to explain it to you. And those of you who are Christians, you're going to get it. And those of you who are um, people that have fallen away from God over time, and, and you feel cold and, and distant, and you know you need to do something to fix that, this is for you too. I, um, I've been praying for this guy. I'm not just me. A bunch of people have been praying for this guy. But I've been praying for this guy for a long time. I mean years. long time. For him to, to you know, come back to Jesus and get his life together. And, um, you know, and he's, he's been trying. He's been trying to clean up his life, but without giving his life totally to God, you know. And um, he's been hurt and he's been struggling. And it's been hard for him because... He knew what he needed to do, but he just wouldn't go that far, you know. He tried to do better, but without changing things with God, you know what I mean? Without getting where he needed to be. Anyway, that's the background. So, now, guys, I know I don't always, you know, you don't. I don't look like it necessarily. Excuse me, I gotta get a drink. I know I don't always look like what everybody thinks a pastor should look like, but I am a pastor. And... That being the case, I long for moments like this because they're so few and far between these days. I got a call from that guy. And, I mean, we've been talking recently about about God and about what to do next and all that kind of stuff. So, it's not like it was a... The thought was a shock. And it really wasn't a shock at all, but it was... I don't know, the moment, the way things turned out, it was just really cool. Anyway, he called me. And, you know, I'm not going to get into details, it's just kind of a private thing, but it was really beautiful. And he let me know right away that he was, he wanted to be all in. He wanted to give God everything he wanted to do. He wanted to be all in. And that's what you got to do. I mean, in order to have a successful, and by successful, you have to put your own words in there, but in order to be a successful Christian, one who really is a Christ follower, you have to give everything. You have to be all in. That doesn't mean that all I ever do is read the Bible 24 hours a day and pray. Um, although, I am in kind of a constant state of prayer because I pray for people like on the fly, just in my head, you know, bless their heart or whatever, you know, things like that. Um, but being all in doesn't necessarily mean that you're some freak that runs around, you know, um, beating people over the head with the Bible saying, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Um, had a girl a long time ago. We're, she was on fire for God, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not making fun of her necessarily, but I thought she was going to get us killed. Um, we're sitting, we're all having a good talk, you know, and, and we're behind the church. And it was nice. I mean, like, we were, we were talking about God and getting close to God and everything, and it was cool. But <laughs> she scared the crap out of me because these real hard-looking guys came walking across the parking lot, and they looked like they'd rather stomp on us than see us. And um, she... She took one look at them and said, Jesus loves you! <laughs> I thought they were going to kill us. Like, oh my God. And I probably, I mean, because I was a kid, you know, so I probably overdid my reaction, but my reaction was, oh my God, are you serious right now? <laughs> they probably took that the wrong way because you didn't, like, have a moment with them or anything. You just yell at them, Jesus loves you. That's almost like, you know, saying, the end is near. But... I know now, I mean, I know her heart, and I know how she was, and she's been a Christian a really long time. She's a precious, precious person. But that day, I thought she was going to get us killed because and she was on fire, but she didn't really have the right, I mean, at the time, I don't think anyway, that she didn't really have the right, um, the way to do things. You know, like, she, she meant well, but I don't know that they took it as Jesus loves you or if they took it as, you know, I'm slamming on you because you're thugs, you know. Um, sometimes shouting stuff like that is not taken the way that you meant it. And I know she meant it with every bone in her body, she meant it. But it was just a weird situation. Anyway, I say, I'll just say this. Um, being on fire for God and reaching out to people, you know, and sometimes you get tired and you don't reach out as much or whatever. But it's not all about you. It's about God moving through you. It's about God shining his light through you. Um, and sometimes, I don't know why, but he, he chooses people like me who are, you know, obviously 
very human and struggling in life and doing their you know their very best or whatever but it takes people that are not perfect the people are not all that in a bag of chips and they and he does things through them like he shines through them he makes things happen through them and that doesn't mean that you know like I'm super amazing I mean I'm just like any other vessel that lays around you know I when he want, when he's ready for me, he uses me. You know what I'm saying? Um, not trying to belittle that. It's a, it's an honor and it's a blessing. I'm just saying, um, when he moves through us, that's a beautiful thing. And I don't know why I said that part. Anyway, um, so I prayed with this guy, and it is a good prayer. And I don't mean like I said a good prayer. I mean like I could feel God moving in me, and, and you know, uh, I don't know, working in the prayer. I don't know how to say that, where everybody will get what I'm saying. But. Um, I could feel God moving. I could feel like, you know, something happening that was amazing. It was a start of something beautiful. And I have every faith and every um, hope that this is going to be a huge thing for that guy. And for me, too, actually. Because I think I'm involved in it. Um, you know, he's got a call on his life. He's got so much ahead of him. And I, I just think it's beautiful. I think today was a moment that he can remember forever as the start of something new, start, uh, refreshing, uh, uh, something that he can really, um, his life has changed today. Whether or not he hangs on to what he got today or not, he said or not twice, um, today was the moment. If he hangs on to that, if he, if he runs after God like a deer pan before the water, he's gonna, he's gonna grow and he's gonna go places, baby. I know this, I, I just do. I've um, seen it a million times. I've seen it in my own life. He doesn't take. He doesn't pick us because we're amazing. He makes us amazing when he picks us. You know what I'm saying? We're amazing because he picked us. Um, anyway, in this particular situation, this guy is on fire. We prayed for a while. We talked for a while. We're gonna follow up. It's beautiful. And that was a miracle to me. You don't see a lot of miracles. Well, you do if you look for them. But you don't see a lot of miracles just like every day. You know, um, water turning into wine and you know, blind seeing and all that kind of stuff. Although that happens, the blind seeing part. Or maybe the water into wine, I don't know. But uh, now I got a bunch of people out there praying for their water. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean like, that was a miracle. That was something that was so amazing and I got to be right there in it, which was another miracle. And um, prayers being answered, that was another miracle. And the fact that this guy was willing and, and humbled and able to just reach out and reach to God and, and just open his heart and be all in. It's a miracle. So I just I just want to share with you guys. I mean miracles do happen. And you you can you can call things a coincidence, call things or whatever you want to, but recognize a miracle when it happens. This was a miracle. This was more than one miracle. It was tremendous. And um I don't know I'm just really excited about that. I want to share that with you guys. There are so many things that we, we miss because we don't look we miss because we don't pay attention. You know, this could be a moment that changes the world, or at least our part of it, you know, and um, this could be a moment that um, it just changes lives. Not just not just ours, not just the other guy, but, but changes the lives of people he comes in contact with, things that he does when he goes out. Um, it's a beautiful thing, and I just, I'm excited, I really am. And I believe in the guy, but I believe more in the, in the, the God who saved him, the God who loves him. Um, we don't, we don't do things because we're super amazing. We do things because God's strength and God's encouragement in our heart, um, His grace and mercy carries us. And that's where it's at, man. I mean, that's, wow. You know, I don't preach very often, but I could preach today. I could, man, I could, I could really go. But I um, only got 10 minutes. Um, I could not do this in one minute, just telling you. Um, this, is a, this is a big deal. It's a big testimony. I hope that some, sometime soon the guy will maybe want to tell you guys how it felt and what, what was happening, but that's a private thing with him. It's, it's a whatever he wants to share. It's all about, you know, um, his comfort zone and what he wants to share. His testimony can be just his life. When people see his the life change, that'll be a testimony. He doesn't have to say a lot of words, um, but if he ever wants to, he's got a place right here that he can share with you guys. And, um, it was really cool. I'm just saying, have a great weekend. Love you. Um, Thanks for watching. Wait a minute. I'm waiting. These are my minutes. Bye.